the holiday season edition of Whitney's Women, and we got a full house today. I'm not surprised. Really Whitney do. always brings new friends to our iHeart Studios here. The one and only from the Whitney Reynolds Show. Whitney Reynolds is hey. here. Hey. Oh my goodness. It is the holiday season. You are right. I can't believe this is probably our last Whitney's Woman and I have a man next to me, for the year of 2023. I wish we could do like a quick recap, but it'd be too much greatness for this one segment. That's because right. we've yeah. had so many great women and men joining us this year. <laughs> and today is no different. Whenever I talk about what's coming up with this breakthrough event, I just smile from ear to ear because it is kids all across Chicagoland that are featuring their talent. Let's welcome Austin and Alicia. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Yes. <laughs> now, Austin is our man in the studio, and we have Alicia, and y'all are doing an event together. Austin, I'm going to have you kick it off first and tell us about the Breakthrough event. Yes, so Breakthrough, it is a young emerging star showcase that we're hosting at the Metropolitan Club on Saturday, December 9th from 3 to 7. Uh, it's a great showcase to showcase some great talent in the Chicagoland area. Um, we're also supporting some great causes like Alicia's Dream, By the Hand Club for Kids, and more as well. Yeah, well, and speaking of great talent, Alicia's Dream, we just heard it mentioned. Alicia, that's why you are here, because the event is benefiting your nonprofit, and you are actually helping other young stars rise up when it comes to dance. Tell us about your nonprofit. So hi everyone, my name is Alicia Duda. I'm an actress, dancer, model, and social entrepreneur. I'm also a author and I've been on shows like The Shy and Chicago Fire. And basically I created an organization, Alicia's Dream, to help young girls of color pursue their dreams of becoming a professional ballet dancer by providing dance scholarships and dance supplies. And I came up with this idea because I too were going through the financial struggles of paying for ballet and I wanted to be there for other girls who may be experiencing the same thing so they could still pursue their passions. Well, and I, I know it's not right to ask a woman their age, but I just want our <laughs> listeners to know how old you are because you are the most poised young adult I know. Tell us how old you are. Thank you. I'm actually 17. 17, folks. Now, this is your, like, this is a PSA reminder from Aunt Whitney over here that, like, there is no <laughs> age limit to living your dream and changing lives. So I want to go a little bit more into what you said about forming this nonprofit. When you say the expenses of when it comes to that, I mean, I'm a mom, I have a kid in dance, I have a kid in football, it's expensive, it adds up. So when did you say, I want to make my mark and really help change this for other kids? So at the age of nine, I really came up with the idea because I saw a lot of my friends were dropping out of dance because they couldn't afford it. So I came to my mom and was like, mom, what can we do to fix this problem? And we kind of brainstormed together and that's how I came up with Alicia's dream. Oh, I love that. Okay, and so since nine, Brady, I mean, I feel like- I was watching SpongeBob. Yeah, I know. I was gonna say, my kids gotta get their act together. Yeah. That is incredible. <laughs> and so this event is benefiting not only Alicia's dream, but you said by the hand club too. I've actually had them on the Whitney Reynolds show before. They're a great nonprofit. Tell us about them, Austin. Yes, yeah, so uh, By the Hand Club, they are a Christ-centered after-school program that uh, takes kids by the hand, essentially, from kindergarten all the way up to college. Um, so they help children in undersourced neighborhoods around the Chicagoland area, including like Austin area, Cabrini Green, and some other great locations in the Chicagoland area as well. That's amazing. Yeah, they are really doing their thing here in the city as well. And like you said, they're taking kids by the hand. So this is a kid-centered event, but anybody can get tickets. Yes. What are we going to see that night? I, the performances, I feel like, I mean, I don't know if you know this, but I used to be a yodeler. Really? And I, I feel like that. I should bring out the yodeling. <laughs> of course yeah, tell us Of course Whitney Reynolds was a yodeler. Why wouldn't yodeling. you be? <laughs> okay, so what are we going to see that night? Um, so it'll be a great mix of different talents. So we have some singers, uh, we have young actress, um, we have a um, young star that actually plays oboe. Mm. Um, so a good mix of talent, singers, um, all sorts of things that you can experience. And Breakthrough, this event, is it one that's been every year? Is this a new event? Tell us about that. Yes, so um, at the club we host a charity classic once a year. Um, this year, Breakthrough is the first time trying out this theme. And um, we're hoping that, you know, this takes on and is something that we can host every year. I love that. And when you say the club, because it sounds so fancy over there, <laughs> in the club, the Metropolitan Club, not only are you hosting this event for these kids, but you're giving them a view 
of our city in the best way. The Metropolitan Club is gorgeous. What floor is it on? Yes, yeah, so we're actually on the 66th and 67th floor of Willis Tower. I love that. And yeah. you know, it's really cool because you hear of these businesses, sometimes you think they're so far out of reach, but you are saying, hey, we're actually going to bring you up with us and do a fundraiser for our kids in the city. Exactly, yeah. We're super excited, and, and anything that we can do to get connected to the community is something we're very big on. Alicia, are you going to be performing that night? Yes, actually, I am, hopefully. I'm pretty sure I am. Um, Yeah, I can't wait to perform. I'm going to do... Wait, actually, no, I'm not going to say what I'm going to do. Because oh, I'm gonna keep this a little surprise. <laughs> yes. I like that. Okay, so the event is December 9th. Where do people go to get tickets? Yes, to purchase tickets, you can go to go dot club court charity auctions dot com backslash breakthrough and breakthrough is spelled b-r-e-a-k-t-h-r-u and you can also get it on the metropolitan club's instagram i'll have yes. it on mine as well whitney reynolds yes thank you guys so much for coming on alicia anything else you want to leave it with because i mean it's not every day that we have a rock star like you in the studio is there anything else that you want our listeners to know Yes, okay, so I don't even know where to start. First off, I would like to thank Cherie and Miss Cherie and Mr. Keenan for just giving me the opportunity to be here. Um, I love corresponding for Young Stars 360. It's provided me so many opportunities and I've been able to experience so many things and I've learned so many things. They're just a great team and I just had so much fun. Also, um, this is just a great opportunity, so make sure you guys are out on December 9th, because that's something you guys don't want to miss. So make sure that you guys are there to experience that. Um, also, I have a Dream Big initiative that I want to put in there, too, that um, I basically go to different schools and stuff and talk to you guys and just make sure um, you guys know that you can dream big, too, and I teach you guys about what you need to do in order to accomplish your dream and to just make those dreams happen. So if you guys mm. want me to talk to your school, let me know. Yeah. I'm on Instagram at Alicia underscore ballerina. And yeah, you guys can contact me there. Also, any further information is on my website, aliciaduda.com, A-L-Y-S-S-I-A-D-U-D-A.com. So there. There we go. Wow, Brady. I mean, I think she could be a future. Is it called Radio Jockey? Is that, is that, is that what you're doing? Alicia, you need an agent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm volunteer. I'm throwing my name in that hat. I'll be, I'll become your agent. I am 17 years right. old. And this is a reminder that you're never too young to dream and to make change in the world that's positive. Austin, thank you so much for introducing us to Alicia. Yes, because you're the you. one that told us about Alicia's dream and the event going on. Again, tell people where they can get those tickets. Yes, yeah, so you can get your tickets at go.clubcorpcharityauctions.com backslash breakthrough, B-R-E-A-K-T-R-T-H-R-U. Or again, on our Instagram at the Metropolitan Chicago. That's perfect. Thank you both so much for coming on. I also have one more thing that I forgot to mention. Um, my organization, Alicia's Dream, has also expanded recently. So it's for all actors, actresses. And anyone who wants to just get involved in the arts because unfortunately underserved communities are not exposed to that. So I want to be there to make sure that you guys are able to see these things and know that you can accomplish it. So Alicia's Dream is not limited. So if you guys want to check it out or donate, once again, you can go to my website, aliciaduda.com. Awesome. S-S-I-A-D-U-D-A.com. I love it. I know. Not limited. I love that. Expanding the boundaries. I am inspired. Yeah. Well, I, you know what? I was actually, I love being a bridge for different people. And I have like five people I got to connect you with after this segment's yes. done. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. It's all about yeah. that network. There's a lot of, there's a lot of arts happening. In fact, I just had Harry Lennox on the Whitney Reynolds show and he's all about building up Bronzeville when it comes to the arts. So it's great. yeah, I know. Well, uh, today's Whitney's Women was, like I said, inspiring. And, and the best way to put it, I think, is the future is in great hands. Yes, right? I know. Yeah. And a great year ender to Whitney's yes. Women. I know. Speaking of, I got to know, as the year is ending, yeah. 2024 is coming up in oh my God, less than a month. What's coming up next year for you, the Whitney Reynolds Show, the Whitney Reynolds brand, other than changing the world? Other oh, than that. Oh, my goodness. That. It has been a phenomenal year. For one, I'm super grateful, and there have been things that have, doors that I wouldn't have seen open, but for years, I was like pushing them down, so I'm grateful that they are opening, but what that means is that we're going to be taking other people along with us through those doors next year, so 2024 is one of those, I would say, moments that the doors that we have pushed open are going to be open for all, and so 2024 Whitney Reynolds Show, get ready, buckle up, our studio 
at Cinecity is just is changing the way we tape and the way we can welcome people in and the stories we tell. We do have Whitney's wish list that's airing this weekend on WGN. I want to make sure people check it out. It's my holiday gift guide, and Brady, it's full of do good businesses. So that's coming up this weekend. You can go to WhitneyReynolds.com to find out more. And of course, to all of our listeners, we love you. Thank you for tuning in and knowing that there's good in our city and there's amazing young women older women, middle-aged women, but women are really doing it. So thank you so much for a great year of Whitney's Women. Uh, before we leave, maybe a little yodel. Maybe. Yodel, hey, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That was fantastic. I was not a yodeler. <laughs> <laughs> but I dreamed of it. Do you remember Sound of Sound Music? Sound of Music, I was just yeah. about to say. 